Hello! In this video tutorial, we'll have a closer look at the preview windows in Adaptive Vision Studio. First, I'll grab an image from the Geeky Vision camera to have a sample image to work with. Please notice that dragging data of image type to the preview window activates additional toolbar with some useful tools. The arrow tool allows you to move the current view. The same thing can be done, even with having other tools selected, by clicking on image with the middle mouse button. The magnifier tool lets you zoom in the view and zoom out when you hold the control key. You can also do it with your mouse wheel. Next, you can get the color information from image pixels, which can be then copied to the clipboard. Also notice that, no matter which tool you have selected, you can always get the current location of the cursor in the top left corner of the image. There's also a tool that allows you to measure the size of the selected rectangle, the distance between certain points in the image, or an angle. Each of these tools have an option to copy the results to the clipboard. It is also possible to compute 1D image profile, or 2D image profile. There are also buttons to fit the image to the window or to show the image in its original size. Next button allows you to switch off the additional information display. Finally, the last button allows you to add some additional post-processing to the image. We can for example colorize, negate or normalize the image that way. It is important to remember it only serves a visualization purpose and does not affect the processed image. At this point I need to switch to the other program to continue with the demonstration. As you may have noticed before, you can drag more compatible data sources to one preview window. Here we have a region display over an image. To match array elements with the elements in the preview, there is an option to show the array indices. In the top left corner of the preview window you have some additional options. The most commonly used is the button for hiding selected data. There is also an indicator showing the color of the data in the preview. In case of the arrays there is a possibility to toggle between their elements. Right-clicking on the data in the preview allows us to select Show Preview Source option. This way you can see from which parts comes the preview data. Another thing I would like to show you are the options in the Preview Stop context menu. In addition to managing tabs or adding comments, you can easily navigate to any source of data present in the preview. You can also remove it from the preview. The X button always removes the most recently added data. Using textual preview is quite similar, but it does not give you as many options as the image one. You may use it to display single values as well as the arrays. Removing or navigating to the preview source works exactly the same as in the image preview. We also have a special preview for 3D data types, but that will be covered in another video.